Hey everyone, it's Jeremy here with Us Plus Seven. Just giving you an update on where we're at with the uh, where we're at with the property. There's been a lot of work accomplished here today. They've been uh, we had some big we had some big rock piles over here in the back from where they dug this out, and uh, so they've got this dug out. We'll go over on this side and check out and see how they've they've put it out into the the side hill here. They uh, blended it all in. And uh, because the, uh, the septic is going on that, that end of the house as well. So we got the pad in for the garage. They got the uh, spot for the step footing. And as you can see from the house slab, it's all ready for pouring concrete on Monday. So we're super excited about that. Um, we've got about 2,500 square feet of house and 1,500 square feet of the, uh, the garage that we're, uh, yeah, everything's moving forward. So it's good. You guys can see from the uh, us the pipes that are all sticking out of the ground here. So we have all the underground plumbings done um, for the island. We have a uh, small ensuite bathroom that's over here on this side, and then we have the like I say the island here, and then over here is our laundry room and mechanical room, and then over there's uh, Joni and I's uh, master bedroom. So. We have all the plumbing in. There wasn't very much uh, underground electrical that had to go in. We only had just the electrical to the island. Um, so that made it simple. The electrical room's here on the outside wall. So later on, once we put in our pool and all that stuff, it'll be easy access to the power source. Um, so yeah, that's all done. And then th we have a couple of pipes that come through the foundation wall over here on the corner. And that's gonna run back over to our solar system that's gonna be down along that side. So. The solar system, so the solar system goes from the brush that pile basically, and then uh, heads uh, south over that direction there. So I think there's like, I think I mentioned it before, but seven around 70 panels that, that go there. Um, we had our well put in uh, by the by Simonson's, our local contractor here, and uh, we went 300 feet. And we only have three quarters of a gallon a minute, but by the you know by morning, uh, it was uh, it was up almost. Uh, we were told uh, about 20 feet from the uh, 20 feet from the from the top of the casing. So we have quite a reservoir. So in the past, we've had a couple of other houses, properties. You know, we've been 15 gallons a minute. We've been seven gallons a minute, and for this property, we're three quarters of a gallon. So that's the first time for us. But I know that my brother's had, uh, you know, he's had half a gallon a minute. My dad has half a gallon a minute and they always have lots of uh, water. So hopefully because we went 300 feet and that gives us quite a reservoir that we'll have plenty of water. Uh, you know, we'll be being more conservative, any, conservative anyway with our, uh, with our use of uh, power and water and all that because of us living off grid. But uh, anyway, just uh, three quarters of a, of a gallon. Same thing, we put a well out on the, uh, on the barn side as well and only got three quarters of a gallon a minute. So anyway, that's uh, new for us. Usually there's always a lot more water, even where we're at right now on top of the hill. You know, above everybody, we got seven gallons a minute. So. You're talking to me, you're talking to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so here we have the, uh, the, uh, where the septic field's going. Uh, Sheldon has uh, laid this out this morning, so we have, uh, I think it's 40 feet that direction and 40 feet this way. That leftover rock from back behind the garage, we had put it in on each side, so that we put it in there on each side, so that uh, so we had you know we had to get it, put it somewhere. So I guess we're just going to fill it in there. We'll probably slope that a little bit more so that it's more of a, 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 a slope instead of just a drop off there. But I mean, Sheldon probably has a plan anyway for that when he, by the time he fills it in with topsoil and whatnot. But so here we have 40 feet that direction, 40 feet this direction. That's going to be the, uh, the field. Our tank, septic tank is going here right at the corner of the property. And then it will run out here to the field. And then so that, that, will, that will be good. It will feed right into the, you know, line right up with this hill and the knoll that we have. Um, so we did have to bring in quite a bit, you know, a fair amount of fill for the house, brought it up and then built in around it. Uh, but definitely uh, the way we had to go because we 
end up right into ledge like just within 18 inches of topsoil so but the topsoil is really good here which that's not typical for us either normally we have soil that's got rocks that you i mean you wouldn't even it's hard to plant a garden because you got so many rocks uh you know the property we used to live at my grandparents and father and all of them you know planted that picked rocks, picked rocks, picked rocks, picked rocks, and it seemed like every year there's just more rocks. So here's nice because uh, our soil is actually really good underneath of the topsoil. Um, underneath the topsoil, obviously we got, we got uh, ledge, but above that, it's good stuff. So on the back side of the property here, you can see where we've cut a lot of uh, ledge. We had to take the, uh, um, we had to actually had the hammer in here uh, for a few hours yesterday and the day before knocking out all this um, this ledge but we took it down enough so that and then built it back up to be able to put a you know have a good footing underneath we've moved a lot of it it was piled up here on this side um, but then they brought the excavator in and the trucks in today and moved that pile out on both sides of the septic that i had mentioned there before but uh, so we've we've taken out a lot the garage is ready um, they'll be forming that up probably the first of the week sometime. We'll get that poured. We had planned on going with a full, uh, full footing, um, 10 inch by 18 inch or 24 inch. I can't remember what it said in the drawings there. I think it was 10 by 24 or 10 by 18. Um, but anyway, we were planning on doing that and then an ICF up uh, to top of uh, floor height. Um, but because we hit the ledge, you know, we just went as far as we could. Then we brought it up a little bit to give us a good flat surface, compacted it. Well, they're compacting now, as you can see, um, but um, we didn't bother going down because we would have just had to spend so much money hammering it out. It's ledge, it's not going anywhere. It's perfect to build on. Uh, so we just used what we had, uh, save that extra concrete, save the, uh, the ICF block. Um, you know, it might not have the same hour value at the slab, but uh, we're going to use some two-inch styrofoam, laying that out away from the footing, up the wall. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be good when it's all said and done. So super excited to be at this stage, that's for sure.